Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the current state of Splatfest, and how they are in a pretty weird position. But before we start, I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before 2023. If you want to help me out, then hit that subscribe button to see new Splatoon videos every day. So, compared to both Splatoon 1 and 2, Splatfest and Splatoon 3 are pretty weird. 3 has been out for around 4 months now, and in that time, we've only had 2 Splatfests. One in September and one in November. We know we're not getting one in December and the next one is going to be in January. We know this because of a data mine from Oatmeal Dome that they found that a Splatfest announcement is going to happen on December 30th and a Splatfest is going to be in January. This most likely being Splatoon 3 Frosty Fest. That is, if Nintendo is going to follow up on what they started in Splatoon 2 in 2019, which was the first Frosty Fest. But this Splatfest being in January means we have another month without a Splatfest. So, what's with all the Splatfest gap months we've been getting recently? The idea of bi-monthly Splatfest being our new norm has been growing for a while and is for a pretty solid reason. It's almost something we've been seeing twice now. However, this next Splatfest that's been found is two months after the last one which took place in November, which leaves the placement of Splatfest in a pretty weird position. Why are Splatfest now so inconsistent when they've always been consistent in Splatoon 1 and 2? Well, I think we need to take a look at just how weird Drizzle Season was. Nintendo isn't handling Splatoon monthly now and seems to be handling it in seasons instead. It makes for better content distribution. With Drizzle Season being the first season of 3, it's pretty apparent Nintendo had some kinks to work out with the game. Especially when it came to Splatfests. Think a few months back to just how terrible Tricolor was in the first Splatfest, compare how it was in the Pokemon Splatfest. It's pretty apparent just how much work they put into the game in October, the month when we didn't get a Splatfest. So here's my personal theory on how Splatoon seasons are going to work, including live events. Which includes Splatfests and Big Run. So with Chill Season, we know the events the first two months of the season. We're getting a big run for the first live event, and then a Splatfest followed up in the second month. Which means the only month this season we don't know for sure for a live event is February. But really, I think we're going to end up getting a Splatfest then too. There's no reason for there not to be one. I mean, let's think about what happens if there is no Splatfest in February. That's the final month of the season, meaning that without something new going on that month, there's going to be quite a bit of burnout towards the end of the season. Lack of content towards the end of a live services season is one of the biggest issues that happens with live service games, and a Splatfest could be a very easy fix for a lot of casual players of Splatoon 3. But besides that, I'd like to talk about why we didn't get a Splatfest in October, since it's one of the big reasons that the bi-monthly Splatfest idea grew. So, the first Splatoon 3 Splatfest, for lack of better terms, was pretty damn bad. Like, genuinely, one of the worst Splatfests we've had across the Splatoon series, and I feel so bad for new players that have never played a Splatfest before to have to experience that Splatfest as the first one. Trust me, they really are good. I know I definitely remember seeing all the comparisons to Splatoon 2 Splatfest and people saying that the average Splatoon 2 Splatfest was better than the first Splatoon 3 Splatfest. And if Splatoon 2 is doing something better than Splatoon 3, then there's a pretty big issue because Splatoon 2 sucks in comparison to 3. And then the Pokemon Splatfest, Nintendo really came back and redeemed themselves with that Splatfest. It was really good and easy to see just how much work they put into making them better. So if it turned out that October was just used to improve Splatfest, then I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like now they're going to be on a schedule of Big Run, then Splatfest, then Splatfest to end the season. Well, at least if Nintendo doesn't want to risk losing people at the end of the season. Worst case scenario, we get one Big Run and one Splatfest a season, but there's still time for Nintendo to keep adding to the game this season season and add the next Splatfest. I mean, we're getting another patch in just a few days, and to memory, I don't recall Splatfest being something Nintendo had to add to the game like what they did with this Splatfest we're getting in January, which is a bit of more evidence for a new Frosty Fest. But anyways, that's it for me. What do you think though? Do you think Splatfests are going to be bi-monthly? Do you think we're going to get Frosty Fest in January? What about a February Splatfest? Let me know in the comments, and if you like this video, definitely consider dropping a like and subscribing to help me get to 25,000 subscribers before 2023. Alright gamers, see ya!